Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing, and this is the Acer C7 Chromebook, which is a laptop that basically is a thin and light notebook designed to run Google Chrome, and that's uh, pretty much all it does, which is a lot. There's a lot of applications you can run as web apps and what, uh, whatnot. But if you want to get into developer mode, there's a way to do that as well. On earlier Chromebooks, there was actually a switch hidden below the battery, but this model, like the uh, latest Samsung Chromebook, doesn't have that developer switch. Instead, here's how you get into developer mode. You press the escape button over here, hold it down while you hit the refresh button, and then hit the power button. And that's going to reboot the device and give you a pretty scary warning message that uh, tells you that um, Chrome OS is missing or damaged, please insert a recovery USB stick. Um, if you have a recovery USB stick, you can use this to recover if you actually run into problems with Chrome OS, but you can also use this screen to get into developer mode. And to do that, you want to press Control and D on the keyboard. Turn OS verification off, press Enter, your system will reboot, and data will be cleared. So as you do this, It's going to um, go ahead and wipe all the data that's on your device. Now, you still have the Chrome OS operating system, so it's still going to reboot into Chrome. But if you have anything stored on the hard drive, movies, music, other files, um, press space to re-enable, uh, it's going to wipe that. So you're going to want to make sure to back up any of that sort of data first. Okay, so at this point, OS verification is off, we're rebooting into Chrome, and basically we'll be able to log in with our username and password for the first time uh, after this is done. To cancel, turn your computer off now, toggle the developer switch back. So basically we're waiting 25, 24, 23 seconds, and it's going to reboot after wiping data. Now, what would you do in developer mode? It's going to allow you to run certain settings and uh, uh, other options that wouldn't otherwise be accessible. And as you saw on the previous screen, it turns off uh, OS verification. And what that means is if you want to install a second operating system, say Ubuntu or something else, entering developer mode is a good first step. At this point, I'm not clear on exactly how you, uh, how you get Ubuntu installed on this device. I think people are still trying to work out some of the details, but it's something that we've seen happen on um, pretty much every Chromebook to date has been able to run Ubuntu, Linux, or other operating systems. Theoretically, as a device with an x86 processor and a 320 gigabyte hard drive, um, this Chromebook could also run uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, other uh, operating systems that wouldn't run on, say, an ARM-based Chromebook. But uh, for, for right now, we're just entering developer mode and, and not doing much of anything else. Uh, this whole process is going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to sign off, and uh, you can find more details at lilliputing.com. Um, but once this process is complete, you basically have a Chrome OS laptop that works like a regular Chrome OS laptop, but now in developer mode.